Hello ladies, gentlemen, and the unknown species. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. In the last episode, well, we finally finished the tournament, and we're like, essentially speaking, halfway through the game. So what we're gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna go to the Pharaoh's Plaza, and if you remember last time I said, Diamond, it, it's lagging. I did not want to fight him, but this time I want to fight him, because he gives up pretty decent decent um, cards and he's gonna teach us a lesson that we will never forget and eventually regret oh by the way I did a ton more of grinding guess what happened I got red eyes black dragon oh yeah from Jono 2 actually I got it in less than 50 tries it took me less than 50 tries I think it was my 34th run which I got it I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm like 89,000 and a half percent sure that I got it on my 34th try I don't even remember anymore who cares I got it in under 50 and under 50 uh, in under 50 runs and I totally beat the murdering penis out of him because I can summon black uh, black um, thunder penis dragon twin head I don't know his name dude this is so bad what's his name uh, thunder dragon double head the one with 2800 attack that that is everyone's favorite card I forgot his name I'm gonna summon it eventually uh, what are you He's 2200, but what is his Jupiter? Uh, I think Mars. I think Mars is super effective against Jupiter, to be quite honest with you. And if it is, then I just totally beat your. Let's see. Oh yeah, you are so upset, Jirai Goomba. Who's the man? Not you. He's actually not that difficult to beat, as far as I know. I mean, he could possibly have, like, a freaking Exodia in his deck, and I don't even know it. I highly doubt that, but... Why is it lagging all of a sudden? Like, what? 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 Sometimes when I record, it just lags for no... I mean, it, there is a reason why, but I don't know the reason. Um, I'm gonna get rid of some cards. No, I don't want to do that! I want to summon you. I'm just gonna get rid of some cards. So next turn I can draw some better cards. You I'm gonna attack you with this because I have a feeling that actually I didn't really Yeah, actually I did have to because he's 17 defense and I'm only 17 attack. So if I didn't do that I would have just wasted a turn without attacking any of your life points directly. Oh attack him, ninja scarta! I actually have Snapple iced tea today, and guess who's gonna take a sip? That's right, I just took a snip. A snip? <laughs> I just took a snip. Oh man, I just took a sip of my awesome iced tea. Alright, what are we gonna do now? I think I should just... You know what, I'm gonna get rid of you though. Because... I, I really don't want you. You are an ugly creature. I just keep in my deck for no reason, for the most part. We will attack. Uh, he's Mercury, so Mercury's not super effective against Mercury. But you be dead, beautiful head headhunter, or is it, yeah, I think that's what it said, headhunter. I'm going to Sakurakamiya you with my ninja skills. Oh. You are dead, and now you only have 2,000 life points left, and my Jiraiya Goomba, Goomba, is going to eat you. Watch him draw like a freaking meteor black dragon, and oh my god, I will rage so hard. Uh, nope, people are in defense mode. Can I draw it? Can I draw a black dragon? Nope, I did not draw it. I was hoping to actually draw it. Red Eyes Black Dragon to show you that I have him in my deck and play him and whatnot, but unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. I want to kill you with Jiraiya Goomba. Yeah, Tune Alligator. <laughs> All right, uh, well, let's finish the duel off with Flame Saborus. Sabor. 
Cerebus. Flame Cerebus attack his life points directly. Just like Yugi would say. Except I'm Ken, I'm not Yugi. What did I get? Job change mirror? Why do I feel like this is a good card? Why do I feel like it's a good card? Let's go check it out. Probably. Well, you know your cards, boy. I underestimated you. This room, it used to be Simon's room. But now, it is gone. Because I ate Simon for breakfast. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids! What? Don't ask. Alright, anyways, what we have to do now is essentially grind up. Because my cards are not good enough for it. But, I, I do want to see what card we got. But before we grind up, uh, I can't just grind up just yet. Unfortunately, oh no. that was an ugly card. Unfortunately, I can't just grind up just yet because of the fact that I need to unlock Low Metal Mage and Free Duel so I can get some of the good cards. So what are we, what am I gonna do now? Is um, I'm going to battle Low Low Metal Mage, and we're gonna do it in this episode. And then I'm gonna unlock him, and then I'm gonna do a lot of grinding, and then with that grinding, I'm gonna eventually beat you. That's not the meadow. That's not the meadow. Where the freaking butt is the meadow? Oh, did I? I did not do the thing, did I? Okay. We have to go to Kings Valley first. I forgot I did not do the the, the prerequisites to unlocking him. All right. Hello, Mr. Impressionation of Shady. I am actually Shady's master. I taught him how to be a male nun, but he... He did not know that male nuns were black. Because we have green eyes, and black goes really nice with our green eyes. Let's go to our parents' tomb. The remains of the pharaoh and the queen are not here. I'm sorry to say that Hai Shins wouldn't allow it. Is there anything else you would like? Let's go to the Forbidden Ruins. The Forbidden Ruins, eh? Simon Muran said it was here? I'm sorry, but I've never seen such a place. There are many tombs of for royalty nobody knows which leads to where. If there is a Forbidden Tomb, I don't know where it is. My apologies, good prince. Anything else, my prince? No, but this means, actually I got a little ahead of myself apparently, because now what we're going to do is go back here, and then we're going to go into Simon's room, and then we're going to go into his room, there we go, come on, can I, end? there we go, let's enter, now something should come up, search, and voila, there we go, this, this is what we have to do, we get this, it looks like a map to the Forbidden Ruins. Who would have thought it would be in his room? Who would have thought? That was my last place I was going to check. But since I've already probably beaten this game, probably. I don't know if I've actually ever beaten it, because I don't remember. I feel like I have, because I know I've had a Meteor Black Dragon legitly. And I've actually, I've, I've summoned a Black Luster Soldier before. And I've never hacked in the game before when I used to play on my PS1. And, you know, you can say that I have, but... I, I, when I'm like seven years old, I didn't even I didn't even know how to use a computer, so there's no way I could have thought of anything. And I never had a Game Shark until until the DS came out, so I Game Sharked um, my Pokemon Platinum version, and um, I got shiny of every Pokemon's, and it was the best thing in the world. And oh my god, I loved it so much. It was the best thing ever. Stories before the ancient sorcerers dared the royal tombs. It seems it's rumored. So this place. There's a man in drawings in the past. I don't even know what I'm saying. Look at the map. This is all written in ancient letters of the Myonesians. And I am now Seto too. But you don't know that because I've never apparently fought anybody in this world. 
you're actually you don't fight Seto 2 yet. You actually can miss Seto 2. I've actually never actually fought Seto 2 to be quite honest, but I know how to get him. So this playthrough, we will fight him and we will get him because I'm a cheater and I looked at a guide. Actually, looking at online guides is not cheating. It's using your resources wisely, unless you want to struggle and and you know figure everything out for yourself. But this game is just it's there's so much you can miss and I don't want to miss anything and I already know I missed everything like the villager one two three I already missed them but I'm not too worried about them because they're just villagers and you know villagers really aren't that impressive but Seto 2 he gives us some pretty decent cards so we are going to definitely fight Seto 2 and he's actually a pretty tough opponent so it'll be pretty interesting to fight him and I'm looking forward to fighting him unfortunately we're not gonna do it for quite a while because we have to beat two of the four crap what am I doing I don't want to look at this damn drawing jeez alright we have to fight two of the four uh, essentially um, what do you want to call it? I guess you can call them guardians let's call them guardians uh, yeah are we done uh, we don't even have time to freaking duel this episode now Yup, she shrine, she sea shrine. Excuse me. We have desert shrine, we have forest shrine, and we have the meadow shrine. I want to do the meadow shrine because the low mage meadow gives out the best cards in free duel, as of what I need for my deck. So, so that's why. Um, actually, if you want to know something, I'm gonna spoil the game for you. You can't get Blue Eyes White Dragon before beating the game unless you buy it for the maximum amount of chips or you use card games. I, I kind of spoiled it for you but I'm pretty sure it's not really spoiling it. I'm just telling you that you can't get Blue Eyes White Dragon. Anyways, we're going to duel him in the next episode. Unfortunately, we can't duel him this episode. I really wanted to duel him this episode but um, we're not going to duel him this episode. So. We're just going to do them next episode. So thank you for watching. And until next time, don't forget to rub the rubber jockey.